Yes. You have been evicted. Paul Savi. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So there has been a lot that has happened tonight, starting from the Sunday Live Eviction Show, and I need you to follow me to the end of this video to understand everything that happened. Okay, so Ibuka welcomed us to the Live Eviction Show, and of course he hinted us on a merger, saying that tonight, two might just become one, and that's what we've seen tonight. The two housemates on the two levels, rather, have been merged together into one house. So we do not have a level two anymore, neither do we have a level one anymore. So we become moved into the level one house before they were merged, right? And of course, he asked Elo Swat, you know, what's his relationship with Chomzi? But before he even asked Elo Swat what his relationship with Chomzi was, he first lashed them about the fact that they were not even winning their widget task. And that, of course, even the head of house challenge, it felt like only three people were, were like, you know, sustaining them. Because all of them, the 14 people, are safe. And it was the winnings of Adekunle, Hermes, and Elo Swags that made sure that they were safe. So Ibuka now went to ask Elo Swags, what's your relationship with Chomzi? And, you know, um, Elo Swags is like, at the moment, he doesn't even understand because, you know, Chomzi is not giving him a green light. Nothing, nothing deep at this point. So I'm still waiting for her. He wants a green light. He asked me for a green light. Like this, is still on red. Ibuka now asked, you know, Elo Swags, that is groovy factor in this. And, you know, um, Elo Swag was like, he doesn't know, maybe, maybe not, but of course, I mean, Chomzi is a grown-up lady and she will decide whoever she wants to be with. Okay, is Groovy a factor this day since he's now on your level? At this point, I don't know, but if, it, if it's something she wants, she's allowed to do whatever she wants. Anybody going to ask Diana, what's your relationship? What's your relationship with Giddy Fire? What's your intention clear towards Giddy Fire? And you know, she couldn't give a straight answer, she was like, you know, they were once closed. And then because like you and somebody were once close, does that mean that they should not have another friend, a female friend? And you know, at some point, it felt like I felt like Diana was trying to be to be rude to you because you know, telling Ibuka that you know what, let the guy in question answer, you know, um, the guy in question, let him answer the question you're asking. Because Ibuka was also asking her, what is Rachel's problem in this? You know, and she was like, ah, she doesn't know that that's what she said. Her answers were not even straight at all. The situation was very clear, maybe from my side, you know. Was he aware uh, of this? He's very aware. How did Rachel get into the mix? I don't know. Ebuka also brought Amaka into this, asking Diana that is Amaka also a part of this? But still, she couldn't give a precise answer. Ebuka now asked Bella, you know, at some point you said that, you know, the only crime you and Shex have committed and does show is the fact that you like each other and that that's why the housemates hate you, both of you. And, you know, Ibuka asked her to explain shade on that. Then she said, yes, that was what it was like before. But in the last few days, people have started liking them and all of that. I'm like, okay. I mean, I will the house. But right now, I think that that has changed. In the last few days? In the last few days, yes. And then we heard Big Brother's voice. He said, housemates, go in, pack your bags, everything you have in 10 minutes, and move to the arena. You have 10 minutes to pack all your belongings and prepare to move to the arena. But we had Groovy left there. Remember that Groovy had joined them from the level two house, right? And he had joined them in the level one house. And so Groovy was left behind while the other people left to pack their bags. Ebukada went into the level two house and of course he started with Kess, right? He said, Kess, what's wrong? Why are you guys not winning the head of house challenge? It feels like you guys have been hit back to back. And of course, you know, um, Kess was like, see, They've been very unfortunate with the head of house challenge. Of course, you could see that they've been winning the wage task most of the time, about three out of four times. But of course, in the finals of the head of house challenge, they always sometimes have about two people in the finals, but they're just unlucky not to win the head of house challenge. Ibuka also asked Cheesy, what's up? Do you feel like your house is doing well enough? But of course, Cheesy said, like, you feel like some of these people don't want to show their energy, you know, when they're in the arena so that people don't get to nominate them. And then Big Brother told the level one housemates that, you know what? going to the arena and wait. And then we saw a performance from Inyaya who performed Oreo and one of his latest songs, right? And then it was time for the evictions and Cass was evicted. Cass! You have been evicted. In an interview with Cass, Ebuka was asking him, how do you feel? And of course, Cass said he was very disappointed at the fact that he was leaving right now 
and that he felt like sometimes the ladies were playing safe with him because if he wasn't married, he would have been able to explore. And immediately, Ibuka carried out the second eviction for the night, and we saw Fam Savi evicted from the Big Brother Niger season 7 show. Fam Savi. Then Fam Savi, in his own interview, said he's completely shocked at the fact that he has been evicted from the show and that he plans to take the Diana thingy. You remember that himself and Diana were kind of, you know, having a conversation at the Saturday night party. In the last two parties, we've seen both of them, you know, dance. The first one, she was drunk, he helped her out. The second one, he was asking if he could be in the ship. So he said that, you know what, he wouldn't mind pursuing the Diana thingy outside of the house. Yeah, um, I actually fly to, like, take it serious, you know. Diana is actually a sweet girl and, you know, she looks really cool. But, <laughs> but it is, uh, I don't know, I don't know what happened from now. But... Ebuka then went back into the level two house and told the remaining nominated housemates to keep standing. And then they were left there. And then we saw the level one housemates move from the arena into the level two house, right? And there was a merger. So we saw the level one housemates, the likes of Adelphine, Hermes, Ella Swags, and all that, merge with the likes of Brian and Fina and all that. So all of them merged in the same house, but Groovy was not there. And of course, we saw Fina crying because Fina was shocked. Where is Groovy? Where is Groovy? And we heard some people from the level one, one house saying, we heard maybe he's been evicted or not. But of course, Groovy was still left back in the level two house, a multicolored house. And I don't know what Big Brother is going to do. Maybe Big Brother will allow him to come in in the middle of the night. Maybe that's what Big Brother wants to do. But literally, this got Fina in tears. After all, there can only be one winner. Tomorrow, when you receive your wager brief, you will be playing for supplies for the entire house. Big Brother took his time to address them, and I'm going to bring another video entirely about the address that Big Brother gave to them. Big Brother literally lambasted these people and told them, that, you know what, it is literally game time. You do rubbish, you see rubbish, right? And of course, Ebuka also told us about the winnings. A lot of you have been asking that, and this house means not winning money this time around. Guess what? They're winning money. And I'm going to bring you a combined video of the address that Big Brother gave to them. And of course, the winnings. A breakdown of the winnings they've heard in another video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. And guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. We're on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok. And follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time, I come away again very soon. It's bye for now.